Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's session, we will be looking at multi-stage build um, in Docker. So at any point, if you have attended your interview, especially on the Docker tool, then you would have definitely um, uh, uh, were asked this question as to, uh, you know, what is multi-stage build in Docker? So it's a very common interview question. Um, and this is something that is very useful. Um, another way to ask this question would be, um, what are the best practices you would follow to build your Docker images? So uh, using multi-stage build is one of the best practices to build your uh, Docker images. So in this session, we will understand what is multi-stage build and we'll also uh, look at an example uh, for this, how we can um, uh, create a multi-stage uh, build uh, in, in your Docker. Once again, before I start off with the session, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So let's get started with this. So see, generally your multi-stage builds uh, are used um, when you want to create very efficient Docker files and you want to have a very um, minimal image size. That is, you want to reduce the overall size of your Docker image and also the complexity of your image. Whenever you want to do that, you can implement your multi-stage build. So one, having very efficient Docker files and then reducing the um, size of the image itself you can make use of your multi-stage builds so under this essentially what we do is we we will be creating multiple from instructions so in the docker file that you will be creating you will have multiple from statements uh, within your single docker file and then each of this um, uh, stage will do different different things so it could be for uh, building your uh, uh, application and then copying those artifacts from one stage to another stage. So let's say, for example, you have three uh, states. So stage one, you will do something and then you can copy the artifacts from stage one to stage two and then from uh, stage two to stage three and then so on. So you can build different stages of your application and then also copy only the necessary artifacts. You don't have to like have everything in your uh, final image, only the necessary artifacts. Now this approach, what it does is it helps you to make sure the final image is very small in size, all right? And uh, we do not maintain uh, any unnecessary build dependencies and any intermediate files. So basically the image, the final image will only contain the necessary components, all right? It will not contain anything that is not needed, thus making your image much smaller. All right, so as for this example, here is the Docker file that we will be using. So for this example, uh, we have three stages. So this is our stage one, uh, which is our development stage. Now here we will be installing any dependencies for the development and also we will be running our test cases. All right, uh, then we have our stage two where we are building our um, uh, production ready jar file okay so we are basically creating our artifacts we are creating our package so here you can see this uh, run mvn clean package and then we are telling it to skip the tests because we are running the test over here all right and then we have the uh, final stage where we are creating a very minimal production image so as part of this you can see here we are we are not gonna uh, maintain your test results or your um, artifacts everything will be copied over to this final stage and that will give you a very smaller size of your production image that you can use for your uh, production environment so here you can see this step copy step so from this build we are copying the artifacts okay so this is the uh, source and we are copying it to the uh, destination within this third stage and then we are uh, starting our service we are basically deploying the jar application all right so this becomes our multi-stage build okay so you can have um, uh, multiple files uh, multiple stages that's totally up to you but for this example i have gone with uh, three stages so the development stage the build stage and then finally the production stage now when i build this what will happen is my image will only contain the stage three okay so this will be my final image so that that's that's basically how the image is smaller in size and only contains the necessary components we are not going to maintain the unnecessary dependencies and intermediate files so let's see an example for this so let me log into my ec2 instance and uh, here 
I have this folder. So this is a Java application. Um, let me see multi-stage. Okay. Um, okay, I think it's over here. Yeah, so this multi-stage build. Now I have this code available in my GitHub repo as well. So here uh, I have the source, the Docker file, the pom.xml file. I'll be sharing the link to this in the description section. So if you only can use this. Uh, so let me go to that folder and this is where we have everything. Okay, so if you look at the tree of this, so source is where we have our uh, main application code and test is where we'll have the test code and this is what will get executed for the test cases. Uh, we have the necessary pom.xml file and then I have the docker file. Now uh, let me explain each of this what what exactly are we uh, doing in each of the uh, stages. So first we are using our uh, base image. So because uh, we are we are gonna run test cases, we are using Maven as our base image for the development. We're setting our working directory as slash uh, app. We are copying the pom.xml file to this uh, stage. We are copying the source code to uh, again to this stage. And then we are running our test um, uh, code. All right, so we are basically running our uh, test cases so whatever we have in the test folder inside this src that will get executed post that we will be building our uh, packages so again here we are using maven as our uh, base image and this is for the build purpose we are setting our working directory we are copying our pom.xml file we are copying our source code and then we are running our package step so basically we are telling it to create our artifacts and we are telling it to skip the uh, test cases because we, are, we have already executed it over here then comes our stage three uh, where we are using open jdk as our uh, base image because we need to deploy our uh, our jar uh, then we have our working directory set as app and then uh, the third line the copy will basically copy the jar file from the build stage all right so from the build stage, this will be the uh, source and this will be the destination in the production stage. Then we're exposing it on port 8080 and then finally we are running the uh, Java application using this command. Okay, so that is basically what we are doing. Now let's uh, go ahead and uh, build this. So at this point, I don't have any images and uh, i don't have any uh, containers running so we'll first build our image so docker build hyphen t let's call this as multi-stage image and then dot so this will start uh, uh, building our uh, image so here it is executing the development uh, stage the first stage that we have so it is pulling the maven uh, image for us let's wait for this to complete uh, it is downloading the base image uh, downloaded, setting the work directory, copying the uh, files, uh, copying the pom.xml file, copying the source code, and then it is running the uh, test cases. Now it is downloading all the necessary plugins. Let's wait for this to complete. Because we are running uh, this code, we don't have the uh, cache. We are running it for the first time. So this will download all the necessary uh, plugins uh, for, for Maven to use. So let's wait for this to uh, complete. Okay, um, still running, so waiting for this to complete. Okay, so here you can see the test cases. So tests run one, zero failure, zero errors. So this was successful. And then uh, it is removing the intermediate container. So any intermediate files or anything, we won't be using them. So it will be removed as part of the uh, multi-stage build for us. Um, so looking at this, so next it is um, go, it has gone to the second stage, which is a build stage. So again, work directory is set, copying all the files, and then it is creating the package for us. So if we look at this, this should have created a jar uh, package for us. So again, downloading all the necessary uh, plugins for us, and here you can see the build is success. Uh, and if you can see. Yeah, okay, uh, does not show that, but okay. The package has been created and then it is removing the intermediate uh, files, the container. Then it went to the third uh, stage, which is our uh, production stage. And this is where it is um, 
uh, pulling the open jdk uh, setting our work directory and then copying from the build stage okay so from the build stage from the source to the destination we are exposing it and then we are running our uh, java command to start the uh, process and my image has been successfully created okay so now if i look at the docker images so you will see here there are uh, three images so that's one two and three these are the base images so i'm not going to talk about them so this is stage one this is stage two and this is my stage three all right so we are not going to use them all right so you can see the size of this and you can look at the final um, uh, size of the final image right so much smaller so this is where we can make use of your multi-stage builds all right we will be basically ignoring all the necessary dependencies intermediate files everything you're only gonna take what is needed for the final image and that way we will have a much smaller image and we'll have a very efficient uh, uh, docker image to run our containers all right so this is basically what your multi-stage build is in docker okay now let's run this container so docker run hyphen dit will do the port mapping let's give it a name so this will be my oh, there's a typo sorry multi-stage container and the image that we want to use is this image so this will start a container for us and let's try accessing this so sure let me refresh this and you should be able to see this so this is the ip address um, of my ec2 instance and the port number make sure you're allowing this port number in your security groups and if everything goes well you should be able to see this now this is what i have in my um, uh, source code so if you want to have a look you can go to the source main um, so here i have the application or java and if i look at this code this is what we are returning so my application is basically running right so this is basically what your multi-stage build is that's an example for your multi-stage build once again the code is available here so you can just copy this and uh, uh, run it and um, uh, you can if you want you can make your changes accordingly and you can run it again that's totally up to you but yeah i mean that's that's all i have that's basically what your multi-stage uh, build is and again this is a very common uh, interview question i hope now you have a better understanding of your multi-stage build and um, you know you will be, you will be able to explain this you can use this as an example uh, if you want to explain about your multi-stage build um, if you like the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel for more valuable content hit that bell icon to get notified whenever i upload new content uh, thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video